In this video of Pokemon versus, we're going to see two very cool Pokemon go head to head. In this video, it's going to be Scizor versus Gliscor. Let the battle begin. Here are the rules on the screen, and let's go. Off with Scizor. Now, Scizor has a base stat of 500 with amazing attack, defense, special, poor special attack, okay speed. And Gliscor, on the other hand, has a base stat of 510, having amazing defense, attack. Solid speed and special defense, which is pretty good. So, as we saw, Gliscor and Scissor's base stats weren't very far off. Gliscor does get the victory though, with only 10 points, as Scissor's base stat is only 500 and Gliscor is 510. So, overall, pretty close. Let's go. Category 2 is design. Now, both Pokemon, Scissor and Gliscor, both have amazing, phenomenal designs. Scyther has solid design, Gligar very simple design but both of them have really good designs so I can't really see myself you know not giving both of them a point so I think that both of them deserve a point I think both of them are, are have amazing designs so yeah both of them get a point right here so this category 3 is typing and we'll be going with the offensive direction starting with scissor you can hit six types for super effective damage ice grass fairy psychic dark and rock which is pretty good in my moving opinion moving on to gliscor gliscor on the other hand can actually hit a lot more types gliscor can hit poison electric rock fire bug fighting steel and grass types for super effective damage which is by far way more than scissor can hit so at this point goes to gliscor Next up is defensive typing, starting with Scizor. Now Scizor only really has one weakness and that is a 4 times weakness to fire. Besides besides fire, besides being weak to fire, Scizor also takes neutral damage from fighting and ground which is very good considering that fighting and ground are two of the best offensive types, able to hit 5 types each I believe. So yeah, overall Scizor's defensive typing is pretty dang good. Now, switching over to Gliscor, Gliscor on the other hand has two weaknesses. Gliscor is weak to ice and is also weak to water. Now, Gliscor is a, has a two times weakness to water and has a four times weakness to ice, which is not very good. Gliscor also takes neutral damage from rock, which is overall pretty okay. Now, as we saw in terms of defensive typing, I think Scizor gets the edge, as Scizor only has one weakness, though it's a 4 times weakness, Gliscor also has a 4 times weakness, plus an additional weakness to water, so this point goes to Scizor. Finally, we have Immunities and Resistances, and this one is a no-brainer, this point obviously goes to Scizor. Now, Scizor is obviously a Steel-type Pokemon, and Steel-type Pokemon in general have a ton of resist res is resistances, I can't speak. But uh, yeah, if you look at the screen, uh, Scizor has so many resistances, I'm not going to even explain them, you can just see on the screen. So yeah. Now Gliscor isn't bad, at, bad either, Gliscor has two menus, whereas Scizor only has one. Gliscor is immune to, I believe, ground and electric, which is pretty good. But Scizor's immunities and resistances are much better in my opinion, so Scizor gets this point, so yeah. Is Shiny. Now... But Shiny, I'm basically, this is kind of my own opinion, so if you disagree, then it's okay. But personally speaking, Gliscor's Shiny, in my opinion, is a little bit better. Both their Shinies are not bad. But personally, if I had a choice to only have one of these Shinies, I would choose Gliscor all day. So yeah, Gliscor gets this point. Category number 5 is Move Pull. Now, Move Pull, we're only going to be including moves they learned by level up, starting with... Scizor. Now, Scizor gets overall pretty good moves. He gets Bullet Punch, Metal Claw, and Iron Head, which is overall pretty nice. But he doesn't get a lot of Steel type moves to begin with, and his Bug type move is kind of limited in terms of what he can learn by level up. But I see his move pull is overall pretty mid, so yeah. Now let's move on to Gliscor. Now, Gliscor's move pull is very colorful. He gets the Elemental Fang, he gets Ice Fang, uh, Thunder Fang, and Fire Fang, which are Muse Reminder Muse, but he also gets Acrobatics, which is one of my favorite overall flying type moves. Unfortunately, Gliscor doesn't get a lot of ground type moves uh, by level up, but still, you can teach an Earthquake, but for move pull, I think both of their move pulls are solid, but I'm going to give the point to Gliscor. Moving on to Viability. Viability basically means how much they, can they contribute to your 
a playthrough of their specific region starting with Scizor. Scizor can't really do much in a heart gold or silver gold or crystal playthrough. He can only really help you with one gem and that is the ice type gem. And then he can, I guess he can resist most of Claire's dragon type attacks. But overall, Scizor isn't really that good in a playthrough. He's not bad, but he just doesn't have a lot of things going for him. He does resist the poison type attacks, which is a thing to take uh, note of. But but overall, he's okay in my opinion. Alright, moving on to Gliscor. Gliscor actually does pretty well in his own home region, which is Sinnoh. Gliscor can hit a lot of gym leaders for super effective damage. He can hit Maylene's Lucario and his whole, her whole team. Byron, he can also hit Volkner, which is Volkner's whole team. He's immune to electric type attacks, but be careful for Luxray. He's got Ice Fang. He can he can also hit Sin two of Cynthia's t uh, two of Cynthia's team members, those being Lucario and um Rose Ray. So overall, I think this point goes to Gliscor, but Gliscor can also hit Ber he's also immune to the ground type attacks from Bertha. So this point obviously goes to Gliscor. Next up is coverage. Now coverage uh, it basically means like their TM move sets. So starting with Scizor, Scizor gets a pretty good wide variety of moves. He gets some fighting moves, some flying type moves. It's pretty overall okay. I also get some steel type moves as well. But I think Gliscor definitely gets this victory because Gliscor's move set is much more diverse, getting fire type, electric type moves. Once he gets way more ground type moves. So yeah, in my opinion, I think Gliscor gets this point once again. So yeah have category number eight which is abilities now we'll also be including hidden abilities as well so let's begin starting with obviously scissor now scissor has three abilities those being technician swarm and light metal light metal being a hidden ability now technician is really good because it boosts the power of weak moves so bullet punch is 80 base power when it gets the technician boost so on the other hand swarm basically boosts the power of book type moves which is overall kind of mediocre and light metal I believe halves the Pokemon's uh, weight which is again kind of okay kind of meh but yeah overall his abilities are okay. Switching over to Gliscor, Gliscor only has, also has three abilities. He has Sandville, Hyper Cutter, Poison Heal which is overall pretty good. Poison Heal allows him to heal health whenever he's poisoned, Sandville gives him evasiveness during a sandstorm and uh, Hyper Cutter prevents Intimidating from working. So that is, both of their abilities are overall pretty good. So I can't really give any of them the edge so I'm gonna give both of them a point but unfortunately uh, Gliscor does get the victory here with 64 so today's battle ends and Gliscor picks up the victory so that is it for today if you guys enjoyed this uh, video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode see you later Alla Gators